Hi, welcome back to Caravan Vlogger. This is part two of our trip to Crystal Palace, Caravan and Motorhome Club site. That's the reception there, you're just looking on the left. What I'll do, I'll give you a, a quick walk through the site. It's not a very big site. This is where you come in with your caravan. Um, when we arrived, we were a bit early at this site, and I don't like being early, but there were no other places to park. Being in London, there was no laybys or anything, so I turned up and sat in the car until 12 o'clock and went in. Um, friendly greeting. Um, oh, Mr. Bell, I said, yes, that's right. She said, right, I need to be a bit careful because there's quite a few bells booked in today. I was like, what the? With the name of Bell, yes, there's quite a lot of Mr. I oh, thought, wow. So it's not a very common name and we're not a very big family. So I was kind of half thinking maybe somebody's booked in like a secret family get together that I don't know about and she's just given away the secret. But so that was all a bit weird. Um, then um, asked if we'd been to the site before. We said we hadn't and she said, oh, normally you're not allowed to select your pitch on this site because um, it's quite a small pitch. Um, um, but the new wardens allow people to select their own pitch. Oh, that's great. Um, however, if you've got, as you've got quite a big caravan, we'd like you to go on this pitch here. I said, okay, that's not a problem. She said, but you can't go on that pitch because there's someone on there still. All right. She said, oh, maybe you can go on to the pitch next to next to him. I said, okay, I don't mind that at all. She said, but you can pick whichever pitch you like. But oh, that's a bit why she offer me. Say, first of all, say you can now select your pitch and then afterwards say but well, we wanted to go on this pitch and then say actually you can pick your pitch anyway so I kind of left the office where my head was a bit spinning thinking I was maybe in the Truman Show or, or there was some kind of prank being played on me anyway so we we drove to the pitch um, that we were currently on so anyway just I just walked past the toilet block there this down here is a dead end it's been roped off I think maybe a tents are down here now, although you're watching this video of the caravan and motorhome club site at Crystal Palace, I think it's due to close in October 2020 because the local council have got permission to redevelop the site, I believe. So it might not be of any use to anybody, but it might give be nostalgic for those that have been there. So on the left, it's a toilet block. Here's one of the um, TV masts. Now, the TV reception is kind of okay, not brilliant, and it seems to change during the day. We've had to move our aerial. Now, there are two masts. I don't know if maybe one takes over in the morning and one's the afternoon, I'm not sure. Uh, 4G wasn't particularly brilliant either on Mandy's phone, and she's with Tesco, but mine, I'm with um, three, and that was fine. Dog walking area there to your left. I've just walked around the back of the toilets there, so this is the dog walking area here. And uh, there we are there, just the far right, the twin axle to walk down here come towards it now it's, it was okay driving to the site there was although there was quite a lot of traffic and the roads aren't particularly wide there weren't many lorries although there were buses um, so it's slow going but not too bad so if you look here so there's this is built on a hill, so there's levels, like terracing. So if you look there, just in the middle to the right, there's a fox. Now, there are notices up saying don't leave food or anything outside because these foxes uh, will help themselves. And we did see one go into somebody's awning and probably staying there quite a while. There he is, look. One, he's got quite a bushy tail. One of the other ones didn't have. So they've got no fear at all. The way he's, the way he's just walking along there talking and he's quite happily scurrying scurrying walking in front of us and he nips off to the left so although the warden said um, our caravan is quite a large one for this site that's 7.9 meters twin axle as you'll see here there's quite a few large spots large pitches and a couple of um, tag axle motorhomes and also during the week uh, like a big fifth wheeler I think that's what they're called came on site as well so, it's, although it is a small site, as in number of pitches, see the tag axle there, so that's got to be eight metres. And all those, everything along here would have been fine. So I'm not really sure why they told us to go. I mean, we felt obliged to go on the pitch that they suggested, although, in fairness, we probably didn't have to. So then back up the hill to where we're parked. So there are some 
straight ahead and also straight into the left and that's pretty much the whole site. So here we are back up the hill here's our van on the right just well, just in front actually in front of you now uh, next we're off to the horniman museum which is a really great little find i recommend visiting it if you if you're in the area so this is the Horniman Museum. Horniman was a tea trader, collector, and obviously probably lots of stuffed animals by the looks of it. Free Museum, South London. I will put some details below. Very beautiful building. Ever wonder what the inside of a cat looked like? There you are. Were you cat owners? Or slightly bigger brained monkey? And a very tiny brained rat. Answers on a postcard as to what this is. <laughs> Oh Jesus, surely it's not that big. Popular with children this museum, as the noise will tell you, but look at this, it's a bit gruesome. Heads of dogs. <laughs> My mum and dad had one of these, but it's only about that big. Looks quite similar. So I think they had two and maybe one broke, but not quite as grand as that. Jesus, that's probably five foot tall. Very nice. It's a camel. <laughs> Lego model of the museum we're currently in. So I'm in the Horny Man Museum, Horny Man Museum, should I say? And uh, there's a machine behind me which mainly is pushing buttons, and you get to hear the sound of the instrument. I think there's about 700 instruments. You can tell that I'm slightly obsessed with things. I can manage all the Yes, Mandy's slightly, as she said, Mandy's slightly obsessed with things. So see them all behind. Some of them have got red numbers on, and you can listen to them on a machine just behind me, it's projected down. Probably going to be here for about two hours. Very soothing. We're all different. This is a machine. So you've got, I don't know what them yellow lines are, hopefully you won't see them, but you've got the instrument there and you find it up in the rack there and you can play it. Not actually play it yourself, but play it on there. Those lines are weird. So, so that's new phonium 702. So you can find 702 up there. I think it's really for kids, but anyway. So I'm in the grounds of the Horniman Museum. Just see there in the distance, shrouded in cloud, the capital city, far left, St Paul's Cathedral. I guess you can't. I might try and um, zoom in post. Anyway, here it is. Lots of children still, as you can hear.
So that's one of those great views of the city. They've got a little, I don't know, like a zoo. Apparently there's alpacas. And a butterfly house. A tropical butterfly house, which is also free. It's the weirdest thing. There's houses there. Man, there's houses there, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and again, through that gap, you can see the city of London. Looks, I hope you can see it on here because that looks great under that cloud. Oh, there's an alpaca down there, man. Honestly, this is a, if you're in this area, this is a real gem. Horny man, horny, I keep saying horny man. It's a bit weird. Horny man museum. Look it up. I'll put details below. Looking pretty miserable, I must say. They're soaking wet. Why have they got any? Where can they go inside? Oh, they've got huts over there. More cloud on its way. So you'll no doubt be pleased to know we didn't get wet in that bit of rain, we did manage to go back to the car. So this is Crystal Palace Park again, so this is the nearest part to the caravan club site. You come out of the site, turn right and turn right again and you're basically in the park. So there's the television te or transmitter mast quite near the site. See the caravan there, just through the middle, through the gap there. So this is a wider part of the park and indeed up there by the terraces was where the Crystal Palace used to be before it burned down. So it was used to be at Hyde Park Corner and they moved it and extended it down here. As it there, I've got a crude kind of, that's kind of what it might have looked like. And there's another view in its glory day. So we'll go up these steps, because you get quite a good view of London. It would be better if it was sunny. Unfortunately, it was cloudy and a bit miserable, but um, behind where I'm walking now, oh, there's, you'd see, again, that's kind of what you might expect to see in its heyday. But behind me um, is the athletics track that was built um, back in the 60s, I believe. Might be wrong. And no, I didn't do an impression of Rocky whilst walking up these stairs, honest. <laughs> oh, I've never been allowed to. <laughs> so as I turn around here, you can see quite a nice view from London. I imagine this is a really nice place to come in the summer, have a picnic and uh, walk the dog. So there, it, it kind of, you could say it looks a bit sad, but really it's, it's a nice place and very peaceful. So the next bit, we were driving through Penge and we saw the Seasons Greetings Penge, thought it was quite nice, so thought I'd include it, why not? And then of course all trips have to end, have to end, have to end. So this is, we're backing onto the caravan now to get ready to go home. It's about a two hour drive. As I say, the roads were okay, but a lot of traffic, you don't never go over probably 15 miles an hour. Anyway, once on the motorway, we have to go through Dartford Crossing. Here we go through the tunnel. I hope this doesn't make you feel sick. Thumbs up for if you liked it. Um, subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one. Thanks very much.